We're now going to evaluate this integral of the Gaussian uh, over the uh, xy plane uh, from minus infinity to the plus infinity integral of e to the minus x squared dx. So in order to evaluate this integral, uh, we're going to call the answer uh, i. So that is basically the integral we're trying to evaluate. The integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus x squared dx. Uh, now you can notice that I could uh, as well say this integral is in the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus y squared dy. They're the same thing. So the trick is basically finding the square of this integral so uh, i square would be the product integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus x squared dx uh, multiplied by the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus y squared dy because integration is a form of uh, summation uh, basically we have the product and the summation uh, operations uh, together giving us because we can have a plus b times uh, c plus d is actually a c plus a d plus b c plus b d the distribution uh, of uh, the summation over this product um, we could uh, write this uh, as um, the summation uh, over uh, the first value a, a so it's basically AC plus AD plus BC plus BD so this is equivalent to saying this integral square, i square, will be a double integral minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus x square plus y square dx dy. So I can go through all the possible x and y values, find the products and add them up. So it's the same thing. Okay, now I want to interpret this integral. Uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus x squared plus y squared dx dy. So I look at my uh, Cartesian coordinate system. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now if I pick a, a range of x values here which I call dx and then if I pick a range of uh, y values here dy you can see that if you multiply dx and dy this is going to give you the incremental area so this is dA the incremental area is dx times dy in the Cartesian uh, coordinate system x and y now, uh, I want to make a transformation uh, to polar coordinates. So let's have a transformation uh, to polar coordinates. And basically the relationship between um, polar coordinates and the Cartesian coordinate system, I can uh, figure out. So this is the x-axis again, this is the y-axis. And now I want to use the polar coordinates. What are the polar coordinates? Uh, r and phi. So if I uh, have a radius vector r here, uh, in terms of uh, Cartesian coordinates, this is given by x squared plus uh, y squared. So uh, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Why? Because r is the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle. 
um, so this is the right triangle here we're looking at and um, furthermore I want to know what this uh, incremental area is so um, dx dy what am I going to replace dx dy with so I have uh, the radius vector the radius r now uh, and the angle y here so what I would like to do is to change the uh, radius r by a small amount so here is um, if I can do it properly yes so here is my dr, so I have changed the radius a little bit. And then I'm going to change the angle a little bit. So uh, I'm going to have a small change in the angle. So there's going to be the small change in the angle here, which is d phi. Now, as a result of changing the angle here, I have uh, a change uh, that is uh, given by r d phi so if I complete this task here so this is r changing by an amount dr here is again r d phi this is dr the uh, area the incremental area given by the polar coordinate uh, system dA is going to be equal to uh, r dr d phi okay so in my uh, transformation x square plus y square will be replaced by r square and dx dy will be replaced by r dr d phi which is the incremental area element in the polar coordinate system and furthermore x is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, and y is varying from minus infinity to plus infinity what does that tell me for uh, r well that means uh, r will be uh, varying from uh, 0 to infinity uh, while the angle phi will be varying from 0 to 2 pi so I have the same r here I rotate it by an angle 2 pi 360 degrees I will be covering the full xy plane okay now it's clear how I should do this transformation so this integral uh, I square is the integral from 0 to infinity for R and uh, 0 to 2 pi for phi e to the minus R square d phi R dr and because uh, phi only appears in the d phi here I have I square is equal to uh, the integral of d phi is phi evaluated between 0 and 2 pi it will give me just 2 pi the integral from 0 to infinity r e to the minus r square dr in order to evaluate this integral now I'm going to let u is equal to r square so that du will be 2 r dr so r dr will be replaced by du over 2 so if I continue this calculation here I square uh, I'm going to put uh, 2 pi integral uh, from uh, 0 to infinity so if R goes from uh, 0 to infinity U also goes from 0 to infinity I can see that here it will be uh, 1 over 2 e to the minus u du so these twos will cancel so this is an easy integral to do it is a minus e to the minus u evaluated between 0 and infinity 
So this will be equal to pi times e to the minus infinity is 0. And then I have minus minus plus e to the 0, which is 1. So the answer is pi for i square. So if i square is equal to pi, that means the integral that I'm looking for i, which is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, e to the minus x squared dx is square root of pi. So that's the answer for this integral. Uh, now, if I plot e to the, the minus x squared function on the xy plane, so uh, this is my xy plane, so I'm plotting e to the minus x squared, so this is an exponential decrease, and here for negative x values I have a completely symmetric situation. Uh, this is, uh, let me try to be a little bit more careful here, so this is going to be like that, completely symmetric. Okay, so uh, if you look at the area under this curve, uh, basically the integral i is telling me the full area under this uh, curve, uh, it is square root of pi. Now, if I ask you, uh, what is the integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus x squared dx, the answer will be, uh, square root of pi divided by 2. Why? From symmetry. Basically, I notice that the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, e to the minus x squared dx, should be twice the integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus x squared dx. So basically, uh, here we would like to evaluate the integral of the Gaussian function over the xy plane uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, and the trick to uh, evaluate this integral is to consider the square of the integral, uh, where you're going to obtain e to the minus x squared plus y squared dx dy as the uh, integrant, uh, and you're going to have the x squared plus y squared replaced by r squared in the transformation to polar coordinates, and dx dy, the incremental area element dA, will be replaced by r dr d phi. So we, we can see that it's like a square here, so it, that has two sides, dr and rd phi. Now, uh, you may be wondering why rd phi? Well, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and if you have an angular displacement of uh, d phi, basically the arc length that you will be spanning will be rd phi. So uh, the, the area will be then rd phi multiplied by dr. Uh, so using this transformation, I replaced x squared plus y squared with r squared, dx dy with r dr d phi, and then I noticed that if x and y are in between minus infinity to plus infinity, I can do the same thing, I can cover the full xy plane if r goes from 0 to infinity, while the angle goes from 0 to 2 pi. So if I perform this integral, I basically see a factor of 2 pi because the, the phi term is not uh, in the exponential. So there is only 2 pi contribution from that part of the integral. And for evaluating r e to the minus r squared dr, I use another transformation of variables. u is replacing r squared, where du is replacing then 2r dr. Uh, so r dr is du over 2. Uh, so the integral becomes 2 pi from 0 to infinity, 1 over 2, e to the minus u du integral. 
and the twos cancel I have pi and the integral of e to the minus u du is minus e to the minus u that's to be evaluated between 0 and infinity that's pi this result is for i square so remember it's the square of the integral that I'm trying to find here uh, so the integral that I'm interested in is that square root of pi and by using uh, the symmetry of e to the minus x square function uh, it says a symmetry around the y-axis I realize that if I were to evaluate the integral from 0 to infinity instead of minus infinity to infinity all I have to do would be to divide my result for the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity by 2